Well, it was 1992 when I first met you, Vince McMahon and Linda McMahon. Now I know this story has hit today. Finally, after all these years, hopefully you will have to answer for the crimes that you committed, the cover-ups that you committed, and the things that you have done. You have destroyed many lives of many children. You know, you may not personally have touched those children, but you let Mel Phillips work for your corporation and Terry Garvin and Pat Patterson. You bought Pat Patterson back. There's no answer for what you did. Whatever, you know, you're going to say whatever you want. And here's the thing that really sucks for me. I am a Trump supporter and I want Donald Trump to win. But there comes a point on how bad do you want something and what's right and what's wrong. I'm not blaming Donald Trump for what happened, but you people did this. And what you did to me, trying to destroy my life, have my brother have me arrested, the horrible things that you did to cover this up. And then what you did to my brother, bringing him through and making him go back to school, knowing that he was going to fail, then firing him from your company. You people are just not very good people. And I remember I told you years ago, that the day will come that you'll have to answer for the things you did. And here's the day. Hopefully your stock market will you'll get hit in the stocks. And anything, you know, with all these people going uh, to jail nowadays, like the Harvey Weinsteins and stuff, the McMahons are right there. You guys are right there. You and Linda. Vince and Linda, you're there. And Jerry McDivitt, you're a scumbag attorney. You know, you got to remember, Jerry... You helped cover this up for all these years. You know, when my, when any, anytime anything came up, what did you do? You called my brother. You contacted my brother. You always wanted to talk to my brother, but only when something negative was coming up. And what did you do for him? You never did nothing for him, for the emotional scars that you put on him. So now it's time to answer. Now it's time for you guys to pay the price for what you did. And this is going to be legal. This is going to be in the courts. Let's hope it does. Let's hope that this isn't just another Trump story that they try to put onto the side and say it's not really a story. A lot of Trump stories aren't stories. But this one is a story about McMahons that just happened to be working for Donald Trump. I voted for Donald Trump, but I didn't vote for Linda McMahon, and I didn't vote for Vince McMahon. Neither one of you is a good people. You know, and I remember when I met you, the, the look you gave me in my eye, it's when, when you seen I wouldn't deal with you. And, and then when the night the cops came to my doorway to arrest me, you, underesti you overestimated your cards at that, that, that time. To have my brother turn on me like that and to put him up to it, to break up a family like that, to go out and have people just look, you know, literally, Mel Phillips, a child molester, is going around looking for you little boys 13 14 years old that was the age then he would get find these little boys and then he would bring them underneath his wing and he would groom and he would find one or two that he really liked and then what he'd do he push them up the ladder to terry garvin when they as they got a little bit older why are you guys answering what what should really should be uh, questioned about what you people did is you had 13, 14 year old kids working for you on the road and you had Mel paying them out of his pocket, giving them money and paying them money. You violated the Man Act, Man Act in so many ways. That's another charge that you guys should answer for. So, you know something? This Bixen Span, he did a good story. And um, here it is all these years later. I could smile at you and I could say, Vince, remember me, Lee Cole? The guy that you called the hustler, the con? Well, you enjoy your little problem right now. Okay? You take care, Vince.